Ah, what's up everybody? It's Wednesday. That's right. It's Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Another rainy day. That's right. Another rainy day in Charleston. Gosh, man. We've had rain like every day for the last week or two, it seems like. The rain, now it's just kind of drizzling outside and uh, I'm gonna make a trip out to Ravenel and film some Chevys and film some Fords. All right, what's up everybody? I'm here at the Ravenel Ford dealership to film some used cars today. Listen to this music up here, guys. Hold on. See if we can get kind of above the speaker. Anyways, that's music from the, uh, I mean, when those guys start singing, wah, 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 wah. All right, let's take a look at some more cars. That Mustang is looking hot. All right, I thought I'd show some of y'all Ford fans out here some really cool, old school pictures that they have on the wall here at Ravenel Ford. So let's check them out. Henry Ford, Henry Ford II, July 22, 1944. Pretty cool stuff, right? Looks like he's going through some change or something like that in their hands. 1932 Ford 3 window coupe. How about that? Look at that. Pretty sweet ride, right? Henry Ford, Thomas Edison, Harvey Firestone. And uh, do y'all hear that, folks? So they, all these guys lived in Key West, Florida. They all lived right next to each other and we just, man, they put those massive brains together and come up with all the cool stuff you see today. So I'm guessing Harvey Firestone here, Firestone Tires, Thomas Edison, you know who that is, and Henry Ford. Henry Ford and the Quadra Cycle. Yeah, look at that. i tell you, this is when automobiles started coming around I and mean, people just got tired of walking, right? Car ads back in the day, possibly in a newspaper. Higher than ever in quality, lower than ever in price. I mean, so that's, you know, it's always about quality and good price. And as you can see, 590 bucks back then, and I guess that's in the 1930s, somewhere around that area. And um, anyways, uh, 590 Ford Model T Torpedo. And as you can see, some of the specs there. Feel free to pause the video if you want to read through some of this stuff. And as you can see, some of the other cars here, they got listed for $690. Uh, Ford Model T delivery car, capacity 750 pounds. Merchandise, 700 bucks. How about that? Pretty cool. Detroit, Michigan, USA. Let's take a look at this. Evolution of the Ford car. 1893. Model A, 1903, Model N, 1906, 1908, Model S, Model A, 1931, Model C, 1905, 1906, Model K, 1908, Model T, 1935, that looked pretty cool right there, it looked like one of them police cars, <clears throat> 1902, the Ford Racer, Model B, 1905, Model R, 1907, Model T, 1927, Model v8 1934 yeah so that's when the v8 started coming alive right here's the classic tent sale of 1930s so this is when they started cultivating the tent sales back in the day uh, no longer in south carolina can you do a tent sale but if you go move to florida we used to do tent sales down there in florida as well ford dealership greer south carolina 1930s check that out you know, something about a tent sale. People like getting under the big top and uh, either watching a entertainment performance like the circus or buy a car. <laughs> or buy rugs and things like that that they do now in tent sales at the mall. Uh, W.M. Thompson, 1924 Thompson Ford, Greenville, South Carolina. How about that? Man, so did all this stuff start down here in the south? I think it did, at least with Ford. And uh, yeah, they look real happy to be taking that picture there, right? They've been like, man, this is like take 20. Come on, get the flash right. Let's take a picture. All right, check this out here. This is the first Ford dealership in the upstate of South Carolina. Pretty cool. Got the Ford sitting out front. MWM Thompson. All right, that's cool. And then let's take a look here. Ford Motor Company, November 14th, 1928. Those guys look like they're about to hop inside of an airplane and and go for a flight. Pretty sweet, yeah. That's what ballers do. They get in planes and travel, and they've been doing it since the 20s. All right, circa 1907, 10 Lizzie. I guess this car, uh, 690 bucks back in the day, and uh, with 690 dollars, you could cruise around with leather seats and uh, and cool horns and cool hats. I like it. 
And there he is again, Mr. W.M. Thompson in Greer, South Carolina, the first place in the hill climb. Greer, South Carolina. Yeah, uh, that's W.M. Thompson, the grandfather. And uh, look at that. Is that really signed? That's pretty cool. And then last but not least on the wall here today, W.M. Thompson, 1910. This is how it started. Right there, horse and uh, buggy? No, horse and two wheels and <laughs> hang on to your britches, brother. So that's uh, the wall of Ford right here at Ravenel Ford. Pretty cool. Stop by the dealership sometime if you live in the Carolinas and check this stuff out. All right, let's walk outside. We're going to be taking a look at the Ford Explorer Sport. Okay, so this is part of the vlog, so let's get it started. All right, we're inside the uh, 2017 Ford Explorer Sport. So uh, sport means sporty, yeah. Some of y'all requested to see some of the lighting and stuff like that on the new Explorer, so that's what I'm going to try to do right now and um, hang tight on that. So uh, anyways, again, you know, it's almost dark outside. I'm here in the afternoon, so hopefully I can pull this car up under somewhere and get some cool shots of the lighting for you. We're going to take the car over here to the shed. Hold on, time out a minute. Just had somebody request a video on the 370Z, and my goodness, there's one right there. Definitely getting to get keys of that in just a little bit. Anyways, all right, let's pull this beautiful Explorer right up under here. It's a little bit dark under here, and hopefully we can get some shots of the lighting for you. All right, we're gonna get out, but before we do, uh, let's cut the headlights on and all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and cut the headlights on. Cut the fog lights on. All that's on, okay, cool. Here's kind of what it looks like in the interior. I like, I'm telling you, the Ford interiors are sweet. I mean, everything lights up really nicely. All the buttons, I mean, the big Sony logo there lights up cool. Four wheel drive, oh yeah. Um, there's your lighting up top. That is not, no LED there, no LED here, just your regular light, okay? Um, these little buttons on the steering wheel light up. So this is working out pretty good under this shed right now. It's making it kind of dark on the inside. Can we call it a night review? <laughs> Let's see. That all lights up real sweet. Look at that. Pretty nice. I like it. And of course, that looks good too. That lights up too. Ford Explorer down there. Not bad at all. We're going to get the job done even on a rainy day. I'm just that type of person. If it's raining, whatever, I'm going to get out there and make it happen. Ooh, looking good. How about that? Very nice. So is this all LED in here? I really don't know everybody. So again, I don't want to assume things. So if you, you're commenting, if you got a little more knowledge than I do on this, please feel free to comment and let me know. I mean, I'm guessing this is LED lighting that goes around, but I mean, either way, I, I mean, really, if it's LED or not, it looks good. I mean, look at that. Wow. That thing is sweet. It's gotta be, though, because I can kind of tell with this light here, that's definitely LED back there. Um, not sure on the brights. Looking good down there. I like that color on the Explorer. Here, we'll cut our flashers on real quick. All right, brights are on. Let's walk back around, take a look at that. Yeah, she's honking at me because the key's in my pocket. Yeah, so definitely, yeah, you can definitely see the difference here. There's LED lights there, but not in your high beams. And when you put the high beams on, those lights down there cut off. But there's something down here on the bottom, and I'm assuming that's your blinker. So let's hit the... Uh, Take the brights off. Let's hit our uh, caution signal. It's right here. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I know a lot of y'all were saying, seen some com comments online talking about those are LED. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know that. Uh, you know all the reviews were during daytime. You know people are like, man, once we buy the car, we don't get to really see it. You know during the nighttime or with the lighting systems and stuff like that. So I, I'm, yeah, I'm not done, folks. I'm, I'm going to keep on doing these reviews on these lights because. I think it's important for y'all to be able to see the lighting on these vehicles before you buy them. Because, I mean, we all drive during the nighttime. So yeah, under there is the blinkers. I thought some kind of light would roll through the entire bottom here, but I think that's just kind of just there for, uh, it's just for there for display purposes or whatever. 
All right, so that's the front. Let's go look at the back. Let's see what we got going on back here. So you got three little LEDs right there that shine on the side. Just like the front headlight, got that nice little bar runs through there. Pretty sweet in the back. And uh, let's look underneath. Yeah, there's the lights there. Those are not LED underneath. What do we got going on in the trunk for lighting? I think that's important, especially for people that are just, you know, needing lights in the trunk, right? <laughs> it's definitely gonna have it back here. You've got one big light bulb there. You can also notice these glow as well, which is nice. And then up top, you got a light there for the kids or whoever's sitting in a third row, a second row light right there as well. That's about it in the back. Nothing up top, up there, okay? Hit that, boom, drops that right on back down. Third brake light's right up there. It's gonna be a little tough to hit the brake light and film it at the same time, but I think y'all get the, uh, I think y'all understand what a third brake light does. <laughs> it just lights up, right? Our interior looks good. Is there puddle lights under your mirror over here? Yes, there is. Watch when I open up the door. Yeah, nice. Good job, Ford. Ford don't play around, folks. They put the stuff on the car that people want. So that's the lighting on the Explorer. Look at that. Man, that looks nice. Big old Lexus. Ooh.